you are wasting your time because we shred all of your emails and we shred anything you send in the mail. We don't listen to trash. We don't read trash. We recognize that you severely need help from heaven. If that is your goal is to bash somebody and trash their life that is doing good, you are already in trouble and you put yourself in trouble. Just like the fake news, they will become a thing of the past. They will have no authority, no power, and no platform to speak from. Because in this time of light in the earth, those who live with the light and give the light and love the light of God, they will be given a platform to speak from and not the wicked. They'll have to speak to their own because no one else is going to listen to them. They are fake, 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 fake news. I actually was given a present by somebody that turned out to be one of the most fun things I have. If I can find it before this broadcast is over, I will let you hear it. If not, then the next time we have one, we'll be doing another one next week. I'm going to try to do a weekly broadcast, a revelation report. If I'm not out of town, I'm going to be doing it. And so I'm planning to travel a little bit less because we'll be holding our own events. I think five events a year we'll have in our own city now. And they're going to be powerful events because they will be our own and he heaven's own. That doesn't mean I won't travel. I will be doing, <clears throat> still doing the cruises. I think we still have some space left possibly in the British Isles cruise, which will be this next July 17th. And uh, it's going to be exciting. But in 2020, I will be going to Israel. I will be going to Greece, the Greece Isles. I'm so excited about that. And I'll actually be doing another um, Caribbean cruise. So God is serious about having a sea base. That's what he calls it. It's not so I can go get a lot of sun. I got plenty of sun right here in this city. And uh, I actually kind of hide from it sometimes because I want to maintain my skin so that it looks healthy. And uh, so I only do these cruises because God has asked me to. Why? We meet people from all over the world. And you have like six or seven meetings with me in a row. You are so filled with God. It so changes the lives of people. Something new we're going to start doing is we're going to have a testimony time to share some of the testimonies. We get literally hundreds of them every single month about how the revelation has changed their life. If you want proof, we'll be glad to give you proof. So we're going to have revelation time. We're actually going to have funny stories that people have shared with us that are absolutely hilarious. It has to do with the revelation, probably some of their children, when they've engaged in sending the hosts and stuff like that. All kinds of things are happening. And of course, the fake news is not going to broadcast that. But God is going to rise up some mighty networks who walk in the supernatural, not just in the past. Okay? You networks, Christian networks, wake up. Start living by revelation and teaching revelation. Have revelatory people come because... Our spirit man craves revelation. Man does not live by bread alone. That's the word, the written word. But by every word spoken by the mouth of God. That is revelation. That's revelation truth given by the Father, by the Son, by the Holy Spirit. To help accelerate us in this time. Okay, they need to have testimonies of the powerful things that God is doing with us. In the spirit realm. With heavenly encounters. You know, the world needs to hear this body itself needs to understand about what the spirit realm is and what goes on there. Our authority is in the spirit realm. We have power over all the power of the demonic. Those are spiritual enemies. Those are not natural enemies. So you need to know how to operate in that place, how to take full authority that Christ said, I give you power over all the power of the enemy. He is talking about our spiritual enemy. You have spiritual weapons. You are royalty in the spirit realm, if you pursue that. So I want to get you excited and stay excited. I'm going to do a shout out to a few of my friends out there. Hi, Mary Trask. Thank you for getting everybody excited over there on your side of this, of this country. And I want to say hi to Stephen Trin. He is our weather watcher. He has done so much for us. Our friends, Bob and Julie Peterson, who live in the center of America, getting ready for the epic thing that God is going to do there. Our friends, the Brazeltons, who've opened many doors for us. We love them. We've known them for many years. Let me tell you, if you, I'm going to start putting a list of churches out there that literally teach revelatory truth and train you in it. 
It is a powerful thing to get to go to a place like that. And more and more of them are going to be raised up by God because we need them. In this new season, I will be doing mentoring online, mentoring sessions online. We will keep on with the Weather Warriors. And for the first time ever, we will have our first Weather Warriors encounter right here in Jacksonville, Florida. We're going to give you several months notice. It's probably going to be in late spring before that whole season starts again with the storms. We are going to have on hands-on training right here in Jacksonville, Florida. So that's going to be a new event that we're going to have. Why? Because we need to be trained. Okay, it makes a difference when you're trained. If you just hear something in your ear and leave and go home and do nothing with it, you've almost wasted your time being there. Okay, we are here to train you to do the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry is not boring. It is powerful. It is exciting. It is devastating to hell, but it, it delights all of heaven. It delights all of heaven. They want to see us stand up and manifest because the earth is crying out for it to happen. We just happen to be born in the season, in the age on this earth when that is going to happen. If you're alive and you're on this earth, you were supposed to be here. That was not a mistake. If you've been through trials and tribulations, a lot of trauma, choose to loose that from your soul. You just say, I choose as an act of my will to loose all trauma from my soul. All trauma, all addictions, all fear, all witchcraft. I lose from my soul all unworthiness, all oppression, depression, any suicidal thoughts. I'm loosing all of it. You don't want to keep it. Loose all sadness. Don't even keep sadness in you. You don't want sadness. Sadness does not come from heaven. It does not come from God. And then you choose as an act of to you, if you will, literally, I, right now, choose as an act of my will to bind the love of God, the life of God, the presence of God, His will, His way, his joy, his celebration, I bind that to my soul. You know what heaven does? They come down and they put it in there and no one can take it from you. You can change your life this moment by letting go of all of the stuff that is garbage, trash, wasteful, harsh, mean, critical. Don't even keep frustration or aggravation in you. Let me tell you, if you keep it in there, it's going to grow. When God said, don't let the sun go down upon your wrath, he was talking about your soul. Do not keep it in your soul. Loose it out of your soul. And then bind the things of God himself to your soul. And your soul will start to prosper. It is called a soul checkup. And so I encourage you to do that. There's hundreds of hours out there about revelation and training for you. And now we're actually going to do some right here in our city with uh, the Weather Warriors for the first time. It's going to be in spring sometime. I don't know if that's going to be April or May, but we will let you know when it's going to happen. Don't miss that event. It will be worth almost everything to get there. Okay, you're going to learn about how to take authority over not just the storms, okay, but all types of disastrous weather. If one day, and God said this, one day, one believer will run out during an earthquake and scream at that thing to stop. Stop in Jesus' name. And then they will say, put it back. And I saw the earth go back where it was before. I saw the buildings be raised up and I saw the dead raised up and brought to life that were, that were hurt or destroyed in that earthquake. That is a reality that will happen in this earth. Don't run from these things God is offering us. Authority, authority and dominion in the earth. It is why he sent you here. That doesn't mean you have to shout and yell. That means you have to say yes to what God wants. And then you run after him. Make Jesus Christ your number one. How do you get to have heaven encounters? Run after Jesus. Who do you think lives there? That's what I did for years. I ran after Jesus and people will try. You know what? They'll try to bring accusations against you. They'll criticize you. You know what that is? That is proof that you're doing exactly what he wants. The proof of having lands and money and properties with persecution. That is a great thing because that persecution isn't meant to crush you. It's to show you and give you proof it is happening. And so I thank you all for coming tonight to listen. 
and I know Jen's standing there showing me some signs about stuff. I've got so much more to share, but um, I'll look down here on my little list first. Um, you will begin to see a shift in the wealth. There is not going to be a crash of the stock market. I don't know why Satan keeps throwing that old dead thing up. It doesn't work. There's not. This is from heaven. There will not be anarchy in our streets. They will not need the half a million body bags that the other administration kept saying was in our country. They were never used then. They will not be used. This is not a time of death and destruction. It's a time of life, of building, of creating, of living, not just existing. You were born to live. You were never born to just exist. Stop saying what God says about you every day. Wake up in the morning and say hello to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then begin to loose anything out of your soul you don't want there. Begin to bind the things of God. When he says, you have not because you ask not, there are so many things you can ask for. I ask for and receive triple grace for this day. Boy, you get filled with fuel from heaven. I ask for and receive sound wisdom. I ask for and receive extreme discernment. I ask for and receive the wealth of the wicked. I ask for and receive witty ideas and inventions. You can ask for those things. I can choose to ask for fun. Because in this day, fun is going to be more and more a weapon. Satan hates for us to have fun. He doesn't want anyone to laugh. We're going to be laughing at him all the way to running our race with Jesus Christ. So before I go, I know I have some more, some more things to share with you. In a couple of days, I'm going to come back. I'm going to have a much bigger list to share with you. This right here is about the times and seasons of God. It talks about knowing the times and seasons of God in the Word. It's in Chronicles, Chronicles 12. How important it was to have an understanding of those things. Israel only had success when they operated in harmony with God to carry out His will, His way, in His time. And right now, this is God's time. So seek after His will. And don't just say, God, I want your will. You need to say, I want your way also. His will, His way, is what we all need today. So I'll, I'll share some more of this um, probably in the next couple days. I pray you have time with your family. And please, if there's any way you can help to bring restoration in your family. For those of you who have family you haven't talked to in years, it may be not have been anything that you did. Begin to pray and ask God to bring restoration and open doors for you to have that restoration. It may not be easy at first, but it is definitely going to be worth it. Because in this time, God is not wanting you to do things alone. He wants to bring people alongside you to help, especially family. And so if you have an unexpected call from a family member, leave all the past behind and just be excited that you heard from them and bless them and ask God to bless them. It says, bless and don't curse. The only thing we're supposed to despise is evil and evil itself. And in this season, they will be hurting. They will walk in fear. Hell will tremble because the manifested sons and daughters are walking on this earth. And we will shake this earth and change things in this earth. In a day, many things will change. Suddenlies, it's still a season for suddenlies. We had many suddenlies last year was the beginning of it. Uh, many suddenlies, they were all good. Surprises, those are also good. Expect more. Yes, for you. Leave all the sin and the junk behind in your life and run after Jesus Christ. He is your everything. He holds your future in his hand. Eternity is waiting for us. This earth is a shadow. It's only a shadow. The greatness, the power, the splendor, the beauty, and the wonder of heaven is right now invading this earth. Get ready to celebrate your life. And remember to be grateful. I am very grateful to all of you who gave to me, who prayed for me, Thank you for your cards. We're going to start start our Guardian Zone really soon where we're going to have a way to keep track of everyone. 
that gives to us. We want to get to know you. Uh, you're going to get random phone calls sometimes. Uh, let me encourage you, if you send me something in the mail, please include your phone number. I'm keeping that list myself. And you never know when I might call. Just say hi. I love people. My dad loved people. My grandmother loved people. I can't help it. Even those who bash me, I care that one day they be free. Pray for those you know that need freedom. Don't hold anything against anyone. Don't hold offense. Only you will pay a price for that. So God, I thank you for helping them to loose it from their soul, step into the new, be the new creation. I got to ask you to bless everyone watching. And I speak life into you. And I impart his presence and his purposes. Wake him up. Let him stand up and stand out. Because the show has begun. Woohoo! Woohoo! I celebrate with all of you. I'm just going to give you a tip. We literally have some events coming up very quickly. Uh, we will be in where are we going to? Tennessee. Tennessee with Jeff Jansen. 11th, yeah, January 11th, 12th, and 13th. And uh, right in Nashville, Tennessee. Global Fire Ministries, I'm telling you what, it's just going to be me and Jeff together about the Seer School of Prophets. If you want to know about a Seer Prophet, you need to come to that meeting. The power of God is going to be so tremendous, it's like electric. And by the way, recently, in our friend's place, in the gathering place, in Louisiana, a Chuck and Shay, I want to thank them again too. We have many friends. Uh, it was a powerful time. Guess what? John G. Lake showed up. Don't go weary. Don't go weird in your mind. The cloud of witnesses will show up sometimes. Okay, we didn't sit down and have tea. I don't even know if he likes tea. But what he does have is a lightning power of God. And I mean, people were just flying everywhere. They were flip-flopping everywhere. Electricity was everywhere. That cloud was so great of the lightning power of God. And all he did was stand next to me. And thank you, Jane, for coming. Jane Schroeder, our friend, our new friend. Thank you for coming to that meeting. Let me tell you what, it was amazing. And so I want to thank them. I also want to thank River Rock. You know, you think nothing good could be in Reno. You're wrong. River Rock Church is there. Eric Moen. Man, he is into the supernatural. Uh, we have so many different places that we go to and see. I'm going to have to share just the whole list to let people know. If you're anywhere in this area and you don't have a church to go to, go to those places. Uh, because they keep, they will invite those who walk in the supernatural. And by the way, why? Because we are supernatural. We are not natural humans. And so, of course, David and Dee Dee, Gateway of Mount Zion. Let me tell you, up in the a mile high in the sky in Colorado is one of the most powerful warring worship teams I've ever seen. Jesus shows up all the time. Angels pour into that building all the time. Gateway of Mount Zion. And Golden, Colorado, okay, they are zapping. Let me tell you what, Denver isn't getting away with nothing. Okay, we go down there and release stuff into that place all the time. Uh, they're going to turn to God in a mighty way. And so we do have powerful friends. Do you think no one's out there or anything? You don't know what God is doing. Even here in our own city. Uh, oh, yeah, we have amazing places here. Yeah. And in Sanford, Florida, Glory Fire Church in Sanford. Woohoo! That was an awesome place. You need a place to go to in Sanford. You live in Orlando, don't have a place. We have Victor Christian Ministries there. Our friends also, uh, Tony and uh, Cynthia Brazelton, and their awesome daughter, Antoinette, the great adventurer. I'll tell you, these people are filled with the fire of God, and they teach by revelation. And even here, we have powerful, precious friends. Uh, uh, Virginia and Sean Killingsworth live here. And I'm going to tell you what, Virginia used to sing with... Um, <laughs> powerful women of God. I can just tell you that. Powerful women of God. And, um, and so they are also walking the supernatural right here. All things restored. God is raising these places up all over the world. I, I found a place in Norway. There was a place in Norway, okay? There's places all over this world that God is setting on fire for him. 
to run. <laughs>